So, uh, uh, recently I purchased this kind of current transformers, uh, these are just generic module available over eBay or Amazon and uh, the rating is about 5 amps uh, and I measured there is a burden resistor, a burden resistor here you can see the SMD component, it is about uh, 200 ohms. And uh, these uh, CTs are uh, pretty low cost. And one um, thing that we have to remember about any low cost item is we should never operate it uh, to its full extent. Maybe 10% uh, is very good, 50% uh, is okay, okay. Uh, anything more than that is you are taking a uh, risk. So I wanted to measure this uh, performance of the CT. So what I have done is I have mounted it on this another my high current source. It is nothing but a bigger transformer that I have uh, and just remove the winding and put a few turns of uh, thick, um, uh, thick cable and it easily gives up to 20 amps but at a lower voltage. So I have connected one multimeter over this side which is measuring the AC and also I have this um, Tektronix current probe which is already showing the uh, current in the blue uh, scale you can see it is 760 milliamps. So it is close to this value um, and uh, my, my variac is, is set to this lowest value and uh, this is I cannot reduce anything lesser than that. So that is okay. So uh, now what we will do is um, what we can see is that both the waveforms that is the output of the current transformer uh, which is by this um, oscilloscope probe is on the yellow channel and uh, the blue waveform is from this current transformer uh, which is pretty close to this multimeter. So this is mainly for calibration. So you can see that both of them are almost uh, matching each other so no big difference here. So now what we will do is we will set it to about 1 amps and let us see what is the uh, difference. Well, it is set to 1 amps and as you can see the waveforms are still uh, more or less they are matching and um, the output from the CT is about uh, 4 point some volts on the peak. Um, you can also see the measurement over here. Now uh, let us go to about 2 amps and see the value. Now the current is set to 2 amps, you can see it here, 2 amps, also a similar value is over here 1.99. Now here we can see that uh, the output from the CT is starting to drop a bit, uh, the smaller waveform. I think the color is not um, evident very well on my mobile, but we just have to live with the quality. Uh, the higher one uh, which is coming from the which is actually the blue waveform is coming from the uh, Tektronix probe and this is already a very good probe and so we will rely on that value and we can see that the output from the CT is dropping slightly at 2 amps which is not even the 50% of the rating that is advertised. Now when we apply 3 amps and you can see that 3 amps is applied and the CT has dropped further whereas as compared to the to the actual value of the, um, the current which is uh, from the, uh, the current probe. Now we will set it to about 4 amps, yeah close to 4 amps and you can see that the CT has dropped further so you cannot really rely on that and when we set it to about 5 amps you can see that the CT amplitude is much lesser as compared to the, uh, the amplitude what we are getting from the standard current probe and we are applying close to 5 amps here. So uh, okay, let me just stop this. Um, so what it means is uh, the CT is, um, uses a burden resistor and this burden resistor used is 200 ohms. Uh, I have not changed anything but if you are using 200 ohms you can see that the voltage is output from the CT is, uh, is lesser as compared to the value that is 
should be. So, it is lesser than that. So, if you are using the CT for doing a current control or protection, it is not going to really uh, serve its purpose if you are using it very close to the uh, advertised rating. But if you are using it for 1 amps or 1.5 amps, 2 amps, I think it should be reasonable uh, considering the cost, uh, the low cost of this particular uh, piece. Uh, my requirement is also something similar to that. I am not, I am I'm just going to operate it within few uh, hundreds of milliamps. So, I think the CT is pretty good, but not good for doing up to 5 amps. Uh, if you play around with the burden resistor, maybe if you reduce the value of the burden resistor, then uh, this, um, this waveform may be matching. So, the output of the CT may be matching with the, uh, with the standard output from the current probe. I have not tested, uh, neither I am going to test it, but um, so just a kind of um, warning for others who want to use this kind of CT for your project.